Kuray's crude increment program is the largest oil increment development to be undertaken not only in the history of Saudi Aramco, but in the oil industry to date. This is part of Saudi Aramco's established plan to increase crude supply due to the increasing energy consumption in the world. Kuray's crude increment program will provide 1.2 million barrels per calendar day of stabilized Arabian light crude blend from Kuray's, Abu Jafan, and Mazalish fields, which is sent directly to customers through the east-west pipeline. In addition, to maintain pressure in reservoirs while crude oil is being withdrawn, the program will increase Korea plant seawater production capacity by 4.5 million barrels per calendar day. Korea's field was discovered in 1957, began production in 1963, while Abu Jufan and Mazalish fields were discovered in 1972 and were brought on stream in 1982. Kuray's field is the biggest of the three fields with an area of 2,890 square kilometers. It is located approximately 250 kilometers southwest of Duran. Abu Jufan field has an area of 520 square kilometers and is located southwest of the Kuray's field. Mazalish Field has an area of 1,630 square kilometers and is located southeast of the Abu Jufan Field. Two hundred and thirty six oil production wells will be drilled to meet the production of one point two million barrels of oil per calendar day connected by 8 and 10 inch flow lines above and below ground. The scope of Kuray's central processing facilities consists of four GOS, two gas trains, three oil storage tanks, two NGL spheroid tanks, five CGT driven seawater injection pumps, plant utility, control room, workshops. Flow lines will be connected to 14 trunk lines to deliver the wet crude oil from the fields to the Kuray Central Processing Facilities that will be received by each of 4 by 25 percent manifold headers. Each production manifold has the ability to route the design capacity of the wet crude to one of the four gas oil separation plants. Four parallel gas oil separation trains, each with a capacity of 300,000 barrels per day, will produce a total of 1.2 million barrels per calendar day of stabilized crude. The stabilized crude will be pumped to the product pipeline or storage. In each train, crude will be fed into a high pressure production trap where the oil, water and gas fractions are separated. The separated oil will then flow to the low pressure production trap, which will operate at atmospheric pressure and be further degassed. The degassed crude oil from the low pressure production trap will be sent to the wet dry crude heat exchanger and heated using the heat from the hot stabilized product crude. Then the degassed crude will be sent to the dehydration train consisting of an electrostatic dehydrator desalter to remove the water and salt. Desalted crude oil will then be sent to the crude stabilizer to remove hydrogen sulfide and other light hydrocarbons. Stabilized crude will be sent directly to the common suction header of 4 by 50 percent crude shipper pumps via 48 inch by 3.5 kilometer pipeline, then to the east-west crude pipeline. When the east-west crude pipeline batches Arabian Super Light crude, oil storage facilities will be available to provide the flexibility of routing a whole day's production 
through 3 by 50% oil storage tanks. The gas from the low pressure production trap and the crude stabilizer column will be compressed in the low pressure compressor before being mixed with gas in the high pressure production trap and entering the first stage of the high pressure compressor. The discharge from the high pressure compressor's first stage will enter the second stage of the high pressure compressor or being routed to the gas processing facilities. The gas processing facilities will comprise 2 by 75% gas trains that will provide gas dehydration and dew point control for the gas from the four gas oil separation plant trains. The gas from the gas oil separation plant trains will be cooled and dehydrated to a water dew point of 45 degrees Fahrenheit and the TEG contactor. The product streams will be 315 million standard cubic feet per day of sour gas which will be exported via 38 inch by 142 kilometer sour gas pipeline to the shed gum gas plant. Hydrocarbon liquids will be collected in the condensate feed separators and fed to the NGL stabilizer. Methane, hydrogen sulfide and most of the ethane will be removed. Stabilized 70 million barrels per calendar day of NGL will be routed via 16 inch by 3.5 kilometer pipeline to Shedgum Yanbu NGL pipeline. The Karay Central Processing Facilities will have low pressure, high pressure, and common flare systems to release gas during any relief scenarios. Additionally, two cryogenic burn pits are provided to handle flaring of any hydrocarbon liquids. The water from the water oil separator will be disposed of through a segregated injection header to the grace field. This water is not sufficient to maintain pressure in the reservoir while the crude is being withdrawn to the field. A major expansion at Korea Seawater 